Welcome back, family of light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back with you, Leos, for another love reading. Now, today we are going to use the Light Seer's Tarot. Now, if this one doesn't resonate with you, make sure you check out my playlist for other Leo readings because these are so detailed. All right, and if you are a returner here, welcome, my friend, once again. I love this deck. It's such a fabulous deck. Let's see. One more. So nice. The overall card here is the King of Cups. So this is you, this is them, this is the storyline. And flip these two top ones as it reads for you. So for you, you have the Four of Swords, the Magician, and Judgment. Your person has the Death and rebirth card. They have the page of cups and the four of pentacles. So this is a very important thing for you because there's two majors in here. Looks like you're trying to rest, you know, rest your heart, rest, get some recuperation is what I'm hearing. And with this magician card and the judgment card, you're willing, you're wanting to balance things out and recharge yourself, recalibrate. And what I'm hearing is like um, balancing your brain. Like you've been so overstimulated lately that it's been hard for you to really be balanced. Your person has taken this very personally. And with this page of cups here, they really do love you in a very, very romantic way. And they're just trying to hold on to what they have here. What I'm hearing is they don't want to lose you. You know, and flip the storyline as it reads, but whatever you've been going through, they, yeah, they're taking it personally. You've got the Ace of Cups here, the Three of Wands, and the Emperor. So they want to be your end-all, be-all. They want to keep offering that cup of love. Yeah, I think there's there seems to be some kind of, um, yeah, like I was saying before, like a unbalanced thinking, emotions off kilter. You might have been sick recently. But there's this looking into the future. And with this King of Cups here, it's, you know, them trying to manifest this love and make sure that it stays on track. With this Eight of Pentacles here, with the Four of Swords, you might have been working very, very hard on your job, getting money manifesting money, trying to move forward with the manifestation of money. And I think at that, you know, at that point, it's kind of taken you off balance. It's put you in the five of swords state of mind. Whatever your job is, it's very mentally taxing. With this death and rebirth here for your person, there is the world card. They want to make this work and they're willing to do whatever is necessary to make sure that this does happen. Wow, with the page of cups is the star card. Your person wants to have hope. They know that there's love here. They know that the two of you can work this out. 
And with the four of um, pentacles here is the king of wands. They've got some fiery, passionate energy for you, and they're not going to give up easily is what I am hearing. So with this ace of cups comes the ace of pentacles. Grounded new beginnings in love. So you, you know, there might have been a situation where you were like, you know what, I can't do this. You know, having you and my career or this taxing job or whatever's going on, you know, not having enough money, you've pulled away. This person is not giving up. Not in any sort of way. Not doing it. So with the three of wands, here comes the eight of cups. So yeah, what I was just saying when I was, you know, I didn't even look at the card, but it's you thinking about walking away. You know, this person's going, okay, well, I'm waiting for my ships to come in and one of those ships is you. So you go ahead and have your tantrum somewhere else because I'm not giving up, you know, and especially with this emperor energy here, they're like, oh no, I'll wait. I know how to play chess and I play the long game. Yeah, just something's really mentally, you know, it's like for some of you, it's, it's the job. And for some of you, it's this, um, I'm getting almost like a mental imbalance. And that's why you're kind of pulling away from them. So since I'm, you, if you've been here before, you know, I'm super nosy, go ahead and comment down below. You know, is it the job? Is it, you know, some kind of a mental imbalance or a chemical imbalance? You know, but this person's not giving up on you. They don't care. You know, here's the, the six of swords here. They're like, oh no, we'll, we'll just slide on into calmer waters. With this king of cups here comes the hanged person. Getting that new perspective. They keep their perspective very clear. Even with emotions being involved here. You know, they might have even fought you on it. And I definitely think that you're fighting yourself. Because I think you thought, oh, this will just be easier. No, sorry. <laughs> They're not giving up on you. You know, and this, this might be what's going on. I'm battling my demons right now. So you thought it would be better if you just made them go away. And they're like, nope, sorry, don't care. Because you are their treasure. It's a beautiful energy that they have. It's very like um, self-assured, confident, very, very, very grounded, very sure of themselves. Your beauty cascades over them. What I heard is you you greatly misunderstand um, the power of who you are and what you're capable of accomplishing. You are the song of their heart. This person is in no way, shape, or form letting, letting you go. Nope, nope, nope. You know, and two, this is the, your message to them. Forgive me, I have never felt this way before and I do not know how to act. So this is kind of like love messages back and forth with the two of you. Okay. Now let's do some romance angels here. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. They know that, but do you know that? You know, take your time. There is no rush. This I don't feel like this person's trying to rush you in any sort of way, except for maybe they want to marry you. 
And maybe that's one of the things that you backed away from because you're like, I'm unbalanced or in my work situation is just too taxing for me. I can't do this right now. Engagement, honeymoon engagement. Yeah, so this might have been, you know, you backing off from a marriage proposal. All right, up leveling of the relationship. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You know, if this was about, you know, feeling like they're going too fast. They're just very confident, self, very grounded. They're not giving up. And I don't feel like it's this creepazoid, um, stalker, crazy kind of not giving up. This is like, no, you're my person. And you go ahead and, you know, heal whatever family issues you need to, you know, whatever you need to do. They got your back. And now I'm like super nosy. So <laughs> comment down below because I'm like, I want to know. There is, since this is a public reading, this is, you know, it's got to encompass some of the things that people are going to experience. All right. Okay. Union. <laughs> so we got honeymoon, engagement, union. ascending. So see how the two oars are going in the same direction? So this is something that's going to take time. This is going to be something that needs to be worked through. I feel like you need to um, regroup yourself, take some time off, maybe go to a spa or two, go travel. There's something where you need to refresh and restart your battery. You know, you might even be going, interesting, I heard the guides just saying that you might not realize that abandonment issues from your childhood are coming up. And that's why you're pushing, you're trying to push this person away. And this could be something that is an unconscious thing. That might not apply to everyone, but, you know, that is a clue as to what's going on here, which makes sense to me. Yeah, time to purge. You know, if these abandonment issues are affecting you, you know, go go get some healing, do some meditation, whatever you need to do. And your person has the patience to see this through. Absolutely. Like this person is very steadfast. Like the energy of the emperor and especially... This King of Wands here. It's where like, nope, I'll sit here. No, I'll hold guard. I mean, that's a pretty good darn reading. And especially if you've got some healing coming up and you might not have had the conscious awareness that that is what's going on. Remember how I was saying this um, imba mental imbalance? This could be a... You know, a situation that is begging for you to heal it. And then it goes back to this. This judgment card. And this is a one-of-a-kind judgment card. That's why I like so many different decks. It's because it's like releasing stuff from the past. Releasing the judgment that you have on yourself with an action that ha might have happened. Like, why did they leave me? It wasn't you. It was them. And letting that go. Because you took that personally. So if this is resonating, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. So it gets passed around to other Leos that need to hear this healing message. Unawakened. So this is definitely saying you've been unawakened. That's what this confusion about. That's what this... You know, oh, I have this mental confusion. 
and I'm working too hard and I just need to back it up because this engagement, the honeymoon and the union is too much. And that's what it's sparking is the healing. You're going from unawakened to, you know, that, that awakening. So embrace the healing. Know that it's come up at the right time and this person is there for you. What a beautiful ending. Twin flames. Love it. All right, you guys. It's funny because I, I was kind of tired and I didn't want to do this. And the guys were like, no, but we really want to do this one. We really want to tell the story. And I'm like, okay. And here it is. Please comment if this is your storyline and um, give it a like. Thank you so much, you guys. I'll see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot.